Hello and welcome to the Fighter Pilot Podcast. I'm your host, Vincent Aiello. Back in the fall of 2021, some friends and I created a spinoff show dedicated to the Grumman F-14 Tomcat, everyone's favorite fighter. The F-14 Tomcast, as we called it, was both an audio and video show, much like the current form of the FPP. And the audio is actually still available anywhere podcasts can be found. But we took the videos down from the original YouTube channel. And now, beginning in the fall of 2023, we are rerunning it, relaunching it here on the Fighter Pilot Podcast YouTube channel. So joining me today to kick off this rerun are the two original hosts, Dave Baronic and Craig Snyder. Guys, welcome back to the show. Thanks, Jello. Good to be here. Thanks, Jello. Good to see you guys again. And Crunch, good to see you too. You as well, Bio. Well, and the funny thing is, right, we're talking about something in the past that's coming out in the future for folks who maybe have never seen it. So we'll have to be careful not to cross our own eyes. But anyway, this is going to, I think, be a lot of fun. And I'm looking forward to the rerun of this. Maybe we'll add a little bit more B-roll or change the intro and outro a little bit. But uh, Bio, starting with you, remind us this series, what did we talk about? I mean, we really kind of covered the life of the F-14. We did. The... um... We, we sat and outlined what we wanted to talk about, and then um, we got the people who were available. But we started with one of the test pilots who flew some of the early flights of the Tomcat. So we go we start with the Tomcat in the, as a prototype and during the flight testing phase. Then we talked to a pilot in Rio who were on um, in VF1 during the early Tomcat deployments. And then we move into uh, significant milestones in the Tomcat's lifetime. We go through, uh, we had an an episode about the F-14A, we had an episode about the F-14D, episode about the AUG-9, we had an episode, I believe, about the dogfighting. I need to, uh, I need to look at that. But a lot of pilots, you know, started talking about dogfighting anyway. And then later on, we got into some real world operations, Uh, uh, Desert Storm, uh, Iraqi Freedom, etc. So we covered the whole spectrum of the Tomcat's life and uh, dealing with the significant events and uh, significant equipment, stuff like that. We had, we had a great time doing it and we heard a lot of stories uh, that were, you know, that have never been told. And some of them that, that Crunch and I talked about, we're going, should we let that go? And then we talked to the guests and they go, yeah, leave it in there. So and nobody's called us yet to say that we were wrong. So I think we're okay. Good. Well, I'm really excited for all the folks that are going to watch this for the first time. And maybe some will come back and watch it again because, yeah, it's evident you guys were having fun. It's just one of those fighters everybody loves. Now, Crunch, the first time we did this, again, in the fall of 21, uh, remind us what the schedule was. Well, sure. It, well, Jello, as you recall back then, we did 26 episodes over an entire year. So 52 divided by 26, that was once every two weeks. We did a Tomcat Tuesday and launched a new episode. My understanding is that you're going to do something similar for this one. You're going to launch it over time. Do I have that right? You do. Yeah. We're going to rerun it just like when we were kids, we would watch reruns of TV shows. We're going to start on Tuesday, the 12th of September, 2023, and we'll wait 14 days appropriately for another Tomcat Tuesday to come around uh, for the next episode. And we'll run it, like you said, episode one on the development all the way to episode 26. If I remember correctly, that was the three of us debriefing how it all went and what we learned and what happened. And I think it was a lot of fun. Oh, yeah, we had the most popular episodes, favorite, our favorite episodes and stuff like that. It was a lot of fun, yeah. too, to look back uh, at the end. Yeah. And we had some controversial episodes. So people can rewatch those and make their own decisions on what they think the veracity of those parts are. But uh, let's see. Uh, right. So anyone watching this for the first time doesn't know who the two of you are. So Bio, let's start with you. Uh, just give us some quick background on your military career. You obviously were in the F-14, but you did a lot of other cool things. I did. I was, uh, my name is Dave Baronic. My call sign is Bio because Baronic sounds like Bionic, but uh, my first pilot goes, I, I can't call you Bionic. And so he shortened it to Bio and I had the good sense to go, okay, that's not a bad call sign, you know. Um, and, and I joined the fleet in 1981. So I'm a generation at, uh, older than, uh, than these guys. Um, I was in VF-24 and then became a Top Gun instructor, which was something that the three of us uh, have in common. Uh, then I returned to the F-14 with VF-2. Then I went to the Joint Staff, 7th Fleet Staff. And then at the end of my uh, flying career, I had the, uh, the honor to uh, command VF-211, the Fighting Checkmates. 
So I stayed in the Navy 20 years. I retired in 1999. And looking back, I, I just couldn't believe how fortunate I was that uh, that my efforts were rewarded and how well things worked out. Yeah. Well, some of that is luck, but as you just stated, a lot of it is definitely the result of hard work. And uh, come on, don't be too modest. You were involved in the filming of Top Gun, and that's one of the episodes we'll talk about. But also, you've written some very engaging books. Uh, thanks, Jello. I, uh, I I was I was a uh, instructor at Top Gun as a Rio, because when I was there, uh, one fourth of the instructors were Rios. Uh, I was an instructor when they filmed the original movie Top Gun, and uh, we all contributed. I, I also did some stuff um, in term. I went up to Hollywood and helped them edit the film, provided some dialogue guidance and things like that. So so that was that was a fun aspect of my career. And then once I retired, I just got the inspiration to uh, start writing. So I've written three books about my experience. The first is called Top Gun Days. Then there's uh, Before Top Gun Days. And finally, uh, Tomcat Rio. They just talk about uh, different aspects of my career. Fantastic. So thanks for bringing that up. I'm, um, I'm really glad that I put pen to paper or sat down and got to my keyboard and, and knocked out those books. I'm glad I did that. Yeah, fantastic. All right, Crunch, over to you. And uh, you and I interacted a few times along our career, but give us a quick uh, summary of what you did as well. Absolutely. Thanks, Jello. Craig Snyder, call sign Crunch. And uh, as Jello, as you mentioned, so you and I went to flight school together and then uh, we were Top Gun instructors together. We went through the class at this. We were both in class 0300, I believe it was, as I recall, and uh, stayed around uh, as instructors in Top Gun after that for almost three years. Uh, But before that, Naval Academy, then I was flying at 14 A's and then B's and B upgrades at VF-32 and then the Top Gun. And then I went over to the D side and I was flying with uh, VF-31 as a training officer and then VF-213 for a department head off to the joint staff where I was uh, the uh, basically a 24-hour watch desk in the basement of the Pentagon where you're pretty sure that on Christmas morning, there's somebody sitting there with a cup of coffee just in case the Russians invade, that was my job. So I was the guy who was making sure that the Russians didn't invade on a random Tuesday, uh, and, and 24 hours a day, seven days a week. That was our job. Uh, so then after that, I was off a training command CO down in Meridian, Mississippi, and then air boss on the mighty Ike USS Dwight D. Eisenhower. And then I was a base CO. And then I was a staff guy left, retired, started flying for a major U.S. airline that rhymes with American. And uh, now in addition to that, I also, uh, my wife and I are deeply involved in the real estate business. So that's what we do. Okay. I have now, just to be clear, I have not written any books. I'm not even good at blogging. I have done nothing compared to what you two guys have done with podcasting, blogging, and books. (laughs) You guys are definitely more more, uh, uh, productive than I am when it comes to generating content for enthusiasts like us. You know, let me say something about Crunch. I met Crunch in 1997 when I was XO of VF211, and we had a 20 or 96 hour surge on the Nimitz, and and Crunch volunteered to join us as an augment, and 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 I was up to my neck in XO stuff and in flying and squadron operations and stuff, but I remembered Crunch from that, and even though our Pat's never crossed in the Navy after that. I remembered him, had a great memory of him. And, and a couple of times I've talked to him and stuff in the years since then. And uh, so, you know, I, Crunch has, he made a big impression on me from the first time and he's only continued to, yeah. to do better. So. Well, thanks, Pyle. It is funny you said, you mentioned that. I, I remember that very well. It was a uh, JTFX surge X. They were, do, there was some new experiment where we were going to do 24 hour surges for days on end, it was uh, it was pretty impre- four days, whatever. I remember that the the schedule was up up on the whiteboard, and it was just a mess. And they just put out this all call: who wants to go fly off the Nimitz for for a week or so? I was like, I'm in. I went out, uh, managed to. I think I caught the one wire on every trap, so they're. Uh... Hey, why well, pass up a perfectly good wire, right? <laughs> Uh, I don't know. Hey. I don't. I don't remember. But uh, uh, we, we had a lot of fun. It was a great time. It was good. It was a good time. Great. Completely different squadron. I just showed up. I was like, "Hey, I'm here. Augment pilot. Fly me." And then, Crunch, uh, how many total here. Tomcat hours did you end up with, and how many traps overall? Uh, I had about 2,300 Tomcat hours, and wow. I, I'm blanking on the number of traps. I think it was 600, 
something like that. I, okay. I it might be more, but uh, I'd be lying if I got it wrong. So I, All right. we'll, we'll call it six hundred. I don't remember. A couple Bio, hundred at night, though. How's that? Bio, same question to you. I had uh, right about twenty five hundred Tomcat hours and about six hundred and something traps. Okay. Also. So yep. very equally. Uh, how about you, Jello? What do you? How many traps you got? Well, you forgot to ask how many Tomcat hours. Well, I. You, <laughs> how many Tomcat hours you got, Jello? <laughs> zero point zero. Darn it! Uh, I ended up with seven hundred five traps and about thirty bolters. So, <laughs> <laughs> wow, you are an honest fighter pilot, <laughs> That's right. man. It's, it's it's rare, by the way. Wow. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> See, so people can get a good flavor for how much fun we're going to have on the F-14 Tomcast. For us, we've already had it. For them, if they're watching for the first time, they're going to have it again. And if you watch and you hear about giveaways and polos and other things, we're going to do our best to keep the rerun up to date. But we're probably not doing all that again. So uh, don't email these guys or phone in questions. We're just run rerunning the series, trying to keep it up to date. A little bit more B-roll, like I said. It starts on the Fighter Pilot Podcast YouTube channel on Tuesday, September 12th. It's going to run every other Tuesday for a year. It features my good buddies, Bio and Crunch. And guys, I'm excited to bring this back out to everybody. I think everyone's going to love the rerun of the F-14 Topcast. So are we. Thank you, Jello. Awesome. All right. We'll see you guys on episode one. Here we go.